Welcome everyone. Today I want to tell you about a super simple idea that we believe directly addresses the key challenges in cardinality estimation. My name is Zhong Hen. This is John Wu with my awesome collaborators at Berkeley and Covariant. The key challenge in cardinality estimation is the need to capture data correlations. For example, here is a 2D dataset showing salary and age. Now, in order to answer a probability query or equivalently a cardinality query like this, the estimator must learn to capture the positive correlations between these two attributes. More importantly, correlated attributes can live in different tables and connected only by joints. So this makes the estimation problem even harder. Because our data distributions are high dimensional and highly complex, our current systems often use heuristic assumptions to simplify the learning problem. For example, the infamous independence assumption says that any distribution over multiple attributes is approximated by the product of their one-dimensional distributions. In other words, any correlation between the attributes is lost. So we see that heuristic assumptions learn fewer correlations making our cardinality estimates less accurate. We present a simple idea to address these key challenges. We are going to learn all possible correlations over all the tables in a database and do so without heuristics. So let's see how this can be done. At a high level, we learn a probabilistic model over the entire database. Specifically, we are going to learn the distribution of the full outer joint. Uh, which contains all columns from all tables. Second, we are going to use the best tool to date to learn this potentially complex distribution. And we are going to use this deep autoregressive model, which allows us to remove the heuristic assumptions, such as the independence assumption. After learning NeuroCard on data, NeuroCard can be used to estimate any joint queries we can ask on a given schema. Let's start with training. Given a set of tables and their joint relationships, which we call the schema graph, our goal is to produce training tuples from their full join and feed them into a probabilistic model for training. A straw man approach is to compute a full join, and then we can take the training tuples out. However, this is highly impractical. For example, even six tables from a small dataset INDB can have uh, two trillion rows in their full join. To solve this challenge, NeuroCard uses an unbiased join sampler that simply samples from the full join without computing it. We can then uh, feed these sample tuples into the probability model for training. One challenge we have to solve in sampling is to make sure the samples are uniform and IID. And in fact, NeuroCar is the first method to formalize this statistical uh, correctness requirement while prior learned estimators use a biased sampler such as IBJS. To make sure this uh, requirement is satisfied, our solution is to pre-compute the correct sampling weights for all joint keys. Uh, this can be done in uh, efficient linear time dynamic programming algorithm. So this correct weights will make sure the uniform ID requirements are satisfied. This is how our sampling pipeline looks like. We start with the joint schema graph. And because of the IID property, we can safely launch multiple sampler threads to run sampling in parallel. On each sample call, a batch of tuples from the full join will be returned. And again, this contains all columns from all tables. Now that we have our sample tuples, we can feed them into a deep autoregressive model for training. The output of the model is a list of conditional distributions over all the columns. The reason we have these conditionals is because by multiplying them together, we can recover the original uh, n-dimensional full join distribution. And this is the secret ingredient that allows us to remove the independence assumptions. There are many powerful architectures to choose from to implement this model, and NeuroCard uses ResMate and Transformer. One challenge we have to solve is that the model size can get blown up 
by high cardinality columns, such as IDs. So for example, here I'm showing a column with 1 million distinct values. If we are using 32 dimensional embedding vectors for each of these values, we're going to need at least 128 megabytes of parameters, which is already larger than the data size itself. NeuroCard solves this challenge by factorizing these columns into several sub-columns. Here's how it works. We look at the binary representations of these distinct values, and we are just going to chunk off every n bits. So for example, the purple bits will turn into subcolumn one, and the blue bits turn into subcolumn two. The benefit is that now we only need to embed much smaller vocabularies or domains. This optimization gives significant space savings with minimum loss of statistical efficiency. And in this example, we turn, we reduce 128 megabytes into 250 kilobytes, or a saving larger than 500x. Finally, after training, we can use model outputs to compute cardinalities. And it turns out the key challenge to adjust here is a phenomenon we call schema subsetting. For full details, please refer to our paper. So how does NeuroCard perform in accuracy? Here I'm showing a benchmark called JOB Lite with six tables and simple filter, simple, uh, single key joints. We are going, going to compare with Postgres, which uses histograms, as well as two learning-based approaches in literature, one supervised and one unsupervised. We see that NeuroCard can significantly reduce the tail errors sometimes by one order of magnitude, while also achieving highly competitive single-digit median errors. We went one step further to a much more complex benchmark containing 16 tables, complex filters, and multi-key joints. On this benchmark, the two learning-based uh, baselines cannot support it, so we include IBJS, which is a biased joint sampling approach. And again, NeuroCard can achieve best-in-class accuracy. Our paper has more results, and uh, ablation studies showing that out of all factors, learning the correlations over all tables, as well as performing unbiased strong sampling, have the biggest impact on accuracy. On the left-hand side, we see that training on a few million tuples is already sufficient to achieve high accuracy. On the right-hand side, we see that on a GPU, training can be completed quite efficiently in a few minutes. A natural question to ask is, once a uh, neural car estimator has been constructed, what happens if new data comes in? Here, we test this scenario by ingesting new data partitions by time. Specifically, we are going to focus on an update strategy, fast update, that only takes about 1% of total original gradient descent steps. Here, here's the results. We see that fast update can recover accuracy quite efficiently in a few seconds. And moreover, it approaches the accuracy of complete retraining. So fast update is a practical, effective strategy to deal with new data. Finally, we look at real execution results by comparing the plans produced from a simple cost model injected with either Postgres cardinalities and neural card. And on this benchmark, the neural card plans can achieve almost 2x speedup. So this adds evidence to a growing number of studies that suggest that the better the cardinality is, the better our plans are. To summarize, we have presented a seemingly radical idea that learns all possible correlations in a database. NeuroCard is the first estimator to remove the infamous independence assumptions and other heuristics on joins. We have also presented strategies to make this idea more practical. Because NeuroCard is a proper probabilistic model, one can think of it as a learned synopsis or a learned summary of our data. For more details, please check out our GitHub and paper. Thanks for listening.